welcome back to the channel this is derelict dad today invictus launch week 2952 drake interplanetary day let's talk about it all right something different here you just saw the intro that i was standing at the division center but uh it's drake you know drake let's say has a very warm relationship with pirates it's their main supplier for ships modules etc so they are not very liked by the uee navy so that's maybe that they have their own defense con going on to showcase their ships they aren't allowed to go into the Invictus launch week at the Vision Center, so they need for something else to showcase their ships. And here it is, it's on the airport. I tried nine different servers in, the U uh, in uh, Europe to get into the Vision Center. Then I tried several in the US to, to try to get into the Vision Center to see Drake ships before I figured out it's here at the airport so let's go let's see what's drake up to what kind of ships they have to showcase for you all right there we go defense gun Drake Interplanetary is a human spacecraft manufacturer that designs, manufactures, and sells designs, manufactures, and sells spaceships in the Star Citizen universe. It is headquartered in Odessa, the landing place, on Borea, the planet of the Magnus system. It is the fifth largest space producer in human space. Drake was founded in 2845 and right now we are in 2952 so they are over a hundred years old 107 I believe and it was founded by uh, Jan Dredge to produce the Cutlass medium fighter for militia use Drake has cultivated its image since then to appeal to those seeking less conventional design their ships have a characteristically robust, robust and geometrical design that utilizes many low-tech materials. Drake's target group also includes militias and pirates. The former CEOs, Jan and John Dredge, cultivated the outlaw image from the beginning of the company, which raised controversies about Drake's responsibility for pirate related crimes oh there you go drake in a interplanetary man those some words that trick your tongue all right i can see directly the caterpillar the cutlass red that is i think the medical ship this is the vulture that is a light salvage uh drake cutlass black in the in in here and i don't know which the one is but we're gonna find out we're gonna take a look let's begin with the caterpillar the caterpillar is of course a transport ship right let's see how big it is let's zoom out oh and there we see a drake crate on your left side and it is 12 minutes before it opens so we're gonna check that out all right, the Drake Caterpillar. It's a very long ship. That's why it's called Drake Caterpillar. Let's talk about it. The Drake Caterpillar is a large modular cargo ship with a focus on significant capacity and flexibility. It is commonly used for legitimate commerce, extended search and rescue missions. However, because of the low cost and popularity among civilians. The Caterpillar is known for being used by pirates as a storage location for the ill-gotten plans or gains. So the crew is 2 to 4, cargo is 576 SCUs, 
The length is 111.5 meters. The beam is 39 meters. The height is 12.5. So there you go. So what kind of weaponry does it have? Well, it has a dual weapon mount, size 5, which packs two times size 3 M5A cannons. It has a uh, twice a gimbal mount, size 3, which contains twice size 2 M4A cannons. And then it has two man turrets, size 6, which packs four times size 4 M6A cannons. So a lot of cannons going on there. So that is the caterpillar. So if you want to do trading with the caterpillar, you can do a lot. For sure. Alright, what's to my right here? This is the vulture. This is a scrapper. Let's talk about it. These are dangerous times. That's why Drake Interplanetary The Drake Vulture is an upcoming one man salvage starter ship with plenty of onboard storage. To help with the salvage operations. It is designed for a single pilot salvage operations in dangerous or distant locations. It is small enough to sneak into hostile areas unnoticed and recover fresh salvage. Well, I think I want to see inside what it is. I hope we can go inside here. So what kind of weaponry does it have? Ooh, it's, not, it's almost nothing. It is uh, on a gimbal mount, uh, two times size one bulldog repeater lasers, and one tractor beam, and that's it, and a scraper beam, and that's it. The crew is one, it has 16 SCUs, the length is 33 meters, beam is 16 meters, and the height is 9 meters. Alright, let's, let's, let's take a look inside, let's, let's try to get in, because this is a new ship, i never seen it before, I never went in here. Can I go up here? No. And it's open. Alright, cool. Alright, this is the inside of the Vulture. So this is the cargo bay, I believe. 16 SCUs. Okay. Open up. Then there's an upstairs. Pretty cool. Smallish. This is... Some storage, weapon, okay, a bed, small kitchenette, this is, these are the modules, the coolers, the power plants, here's the restroom, that's a shower and a toilet, pretty cool, so you can take a shower directly when you're ever, uh, taking a shite, nice. And this is the pilot seat. That's can we yes we can. Cool, cool, cool. You could try to call local law or the navy. Alright. You'll be blown up and picked clean long before they show up. Oh this is one of Drake's versatile combat. This is pretty cool. And it'll be the outlaws that'll holler in full. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Okay. Your systems are online. Nice. Really cool. So this is gonna be also some very chill gaming. Trying to find some salvage, scrape it, and sell it. I wonder how mu how much money you can make. Defense Con's a great opportunity to take a look at the real ships that are out there every day, defending your freedom cool. and moving the gears of this empire. The Drake Vulture, everybody. Who can you can you? Oh, that is cool. You can just. Oh, that is nice for a quick entry. Cool. All right, the search and rescue Cutlass Red with the medical bay. Let's talk about it. The Cutlass Red and the Cutlass Blue, they're Welcome right there. While we at Drake Interplanetary celebrate the brave men and women in the UEE Navy, 
The Drake Cutlass Red, also known as the DCR2, is the emergency response and support ship with a comprehensive medical bay, long range radar capabilities and a suite of defensive options. More than just a top flight emergency responder, the Cutlass Red is a heavy regarded, highly regarded support vessel for hazardous combat, recon and exploration. With the ability to revive fallen teammates and the full onboard auto dock, a single visit to the med bay will ensure you will always be pulled back from the brink of death. The crew is 1 to 2, it has still 12 SCUs and the length is 36 meters, beam is 26 and the height is 14. So what kind of a weaponry do they have? As I got less red. It has twice a size 3 gimbal mount for the pilot and that contains two times for every gimbal mount, so it has four times in total. Size 2 DR models XJ2. Then it has a, another two times gimbal mount and that contains twice size 2 Badger laser repeaters. Then it has a one echo and a sure grip tractor, so probably can pull people in. The Cutlass Red. So and in the back over there you can see the Cutlass Blue. To Let's talk about the, the Cutlass Blue for a moment. So if you are interested in the Cutlass Black, uh, it has a medical bay. I can quickly show you before we talk about the Cutlass Blue. I'm not wanting to rent, I want to open it or protect your homestead from outlaw packs drakes got your back all right yes you can open it cool so this is a cargo bay 12 SCUs I believe open up baby and here we go two medical stations I don't know if it's a regeneration in it, so you can spawn as well. You can spawn in here. That is cool. I thought you couldn't. Maybe I'm wrong though, so if you want a uh, respawn ship and you think this is it, double check it for your own safety. So this is the Cutlass Blue, this is the police version, or the law. So, the Cutlass Blue, the Drake AS-1 Cutlass Blue, also known as the DCB-2, is the go-to patrol ship for militia and law enforcement. Featuring an onboard quantum dampener, a versatile weapon package, and a bank of prisoners containment system, the Cutlass Blue is built to protect citizens and suppresses dangerous outlaws. Cool. So the crew is 1 to 2. It has also 12 SCUs. The length is 29, beam is 21, and the height is 8. So the weaponry now. The weapons are it has 2 times uh, gimbal mount size 3 with 2 times DR model XJ2. And another uh, 2 times gimbal mount with 2 times scorpion. Gatling guns. It has one man turret with uh, laser repeater size 3. Then it has missiles, 24 missiles size 2. And then a Burke quantum dampener to make sure the enemy doesn't quantum jump away. And then it has a tractor as well, probably to hold it in or something like that. So let's see if we can get in because I've never seen a Cutlass Blue from the inside. So it has a 12 SCUs. This is the prison cell. Oh man, take a look at that. If you can place people in that. <laughs> Pretty cool. That is fun. That is fun. Imagine. Bounty hunter players <laughs> put them in there like 
Yeah, you're done, dude. Oh, there will be so much grieving in... Quick rehabilitation check. Okay, two beds. With a man turret. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I need to drink. I have only 7%, so that is focusing <laughs> number one. I am dying right now. Alright, I made it. 100%. In drinks and food ready. Oh, we got a uh, cool looking trailer over there. But we're gonna take a look at the mule. The Drake Mule. Introducing the mule. This is a new ground vehicle. It is a small, cute looking delivery guy. And you can set boxes on top of it. And it has, I believe, one SCU. Let, let's talk about this uh, funky looking ship. Funky looking the vehicle. The Drake Mule. The Drake Mule is a single-seat ground cargo hauler manufactured by Drake in Interplanetary. The six-wheeled Drake Mule is a dependable workhouse for all sorts of loading and hauling jobs. Whether transporting cargo over rough terrain or ferrying it over larger vessels and cargo decks, the Mule sees even the toughest contracts through the end. It can store one SEU of its internal storage in the back while it grabs another magnetic for with its magnetic forelift. In addition, it can store a total of six one fourth SEU boxes on the side saddles. Three on each size. Okay. So the crew is one, cargo is one SEU. The length is 8.75 meters. The beam is six, the height is 3.5. And it doesn't have any, of course, any weaponry. So this is the Drake Mule. And here you can see the, um, the mag magnetic uh, fork thingy. And here you can put three one-fourth SCU boxes in it. So yeah, the Drake Mule. Pretty cute ground delivery. Helper. So this is the Cutlass Black, the standard Cutlass Black, also I believe stainless, oh that's the one behind, alright let's take a look at the Cutlass Black, let's talk about it. The Drake AS1, also known as the DCB1 Cutlass Black is a low cost, easy to maintain solution for local in system and militia units. The larger than average cargo hold, Rio seat, and dedicated tractor mounts are, the company literal literature insists. Hang on. The larger than average cargo hold, Rio seat, and dedicated tractor mounts are, the company literally literature insists for facilitating search and rescue operations. Uh huh, of course. So the capacity is uh, for crew is uh, 1 to 2, the cargo space is 46, pretty okay. The length is uh, 36, 26 in beam, and 14 in height. The weaponry it has two gimbal mounts with a si two times size 2 badger repeaters. Two gimbal mounts with two times Scorpion GT215, uh, and that is a Gatling gun. It has one man turret with two times size 3 Panther laser repeaters, and it has eight, eight times size 3 missiles, the Arrestor 3, and a 16 times size 2 Tempest 2, and it has a sure grip tractor beam. The Cutlass Black, very many used ship, very cool, very good for PvE. Yep. You can do almost anything with it. Bounty hunting, maybe not the, the, the most difficult bounties, but you can sure transport a lot of stuff and do delivery missions. Yeah, very handy ship. So this is the stainless steel. 
or the cutlass steel and let's talk about it the cutlass steel and I think that is a troop troop transport yes the Drake Cutlass Steel is a troop transport model in the Cutlass series with an additional remote turret, more missiles and 5 door mounted Gatling guns with 18 jump seats for armed and armored passengers. The Cutlass Steel is designed to rapidly insert troops into an area where providing fire support for them. The crew is 1 to 3, it doesn't have any cargo. The length is 36, the beam is 26.5 and the height is 14. The weaponry though. Weaponry, it has 2 times a gimbal mount size 3 with 2 times size 2 beta laser repeaters. It has 2 times a gimbal mount size 3 with 2 times scorpion gatling guns. The turret is 1 size 6 with 2 times size 3 panther laser repeaters. It has a remote turret with 2 times size 2 beta laser repeaters. And five times yellow jacket size one door gun Gatling guns. We've all been there. Pretty cool. There Some you can see two and sure. another two. And then it needs one, one probably on the back somewhere. somewhere. You'll be blown up and let's let's take a look in it because I never Stop seen this cutlass steel from the inside. <sighs> and here's the fifth. The yellow jacket. Okay, so we have cool. Oh yeah, you can sit in it and then jump out. That's pretty nice. And standard here, the habitation deck. It's the same in in any other cutlass. Every time this changes, though. Very cool ship series. All right, well, so what else do we have? The Drake Herald. This is the information runner of the Drake series. Let's talk about it. The Drake Herald. Where are you? Here you are. The Drake Herald is a small armored ship designed to safely get information from point A point B. Featuring a powerful central engine for high-speed transfer tra transit and generating the power needed for effective data encryption containment, advanced encryption software and an armored computer core. The Herald is unique among personal spacecraft that is in design to be easily cleaned when in danger of capture. Notably, data running and hacking are not yet implemented in the game right now, so the ship doesn't have any, any intended functionality though. So the crew is one, it doesn't have any cargo space, and you can see the back engine here, pretty big. Uh, the length is 23.5, the beam is 12.5, and the height is 9. The weaponry, it has some weapons. It has two times size two yellow jackets and eight times size one missiles. The task force. So it has missiles, but it's more designed to get the hell out of there. When can I get in? No. It is designed to get the hell out. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse moi. Pretty funky ship though. Can I get in? Yes, we can. Okay, so this is the central computer system. A bed. Nice. Pretty dark. You can change that. Toilet, not a shower, just a small sink here. I think that is appropriate. Pretty cool, actually, as a data runner. Yep, all right. Oh, 
Alright, what else? What else? Well, we have a trailer, but there's something here as well. Some nice cool merch. Alright, alright. What do we have here? The Dragonfly. The Drake Dragonfly. The Drake Dragonfly is an open canopy snub ship. Oh, it's, it's a snub ship, okay. It can be operated both on the ground or in space, and it has a rear facing second seat for a passenger. The ship is designed to be able to load it into other larger ships like the Cutlass and the Caterpillar. The crew is 1 to 2, of course, no SEUs, it's the snub ship, right? Uh, length is 6, beam is 2.5, and the height is 1.5. Does it have any weapons? Yes, it does. It has 2 times size 1 Havoc scatter gun. So, scatter guns are like shotguns inside Star Citizen. So, this is one of the scatter guns. And from up close, they are the fast thing, for sure. But with any shotgun. If you have enough distance, they're gonna do nothing to you. Pretty cool detail. Pretty cool. Alright. Uh, does it have anything else? Yes, it does. The Kraken. The holographic Kraken. Pause to read this. Drake. In interplanetary Kraken a very big ship let's talk about it the Kraken the Drake Kraken is designed as a multi-role light carrier with comfortable heads for a full crew mammoth cargo capacity and enough armament to blow even the most daunting frigate out of the sky. This self-sustaining flying fortress is the most ambitious project Drake has ever undertaken. And it is a testament to the empowerment of the people. The crew is 1 to 10. It has a whopping 3792 SEUs. <laughs> How much? Do you want cargo? Yes. Length 270, beam 104, height, the length is so big, height is 64. So weaponry, um, it's all to be discussed, but it says probably an 8 size man turret, 8 6 man turrets, and S5 remote turrets. So, go figure. And including all the ships that can land on top of it. Like, you're not only fighting the Kraken, but you can also fighting if you want to attack one. It's like a mobile headquarters for uh, organizations, right? Where people join in, like clans. So, you're not only fighting the Kraken, but also every ship that is docked onto it. This is pretty cool. Loving to see it inside someday. For sure. So cool. This whole game is so cool. I love it. Ooh, another one. What is here? <gasps> the Corsair. Right? This is the Corsair, right? Yep, the Corsair. Drake to pause. Uh... Press to pause, trade to pause, press to pause. Alright, let's talk about the Corsair. The Drake Corsair is a multi-crew explorer that gives up defenses for a focus on versatility and firepower. With an asymmetric convertible wings that a large cargo and a large cargo, the Corsair adapts to a harsh environment combat situations and hot landing zones with equal ease. 
up to four crew can accommodate in the Corsair's functional quarters. And a full complement of scanning suites, along with a pair of quantum fuel tanks, provide the means and method of exploring distance and dangerous stars. So there's a crew 124, 27 SCUs, the length is 55, the beam is 56 or 27 meters depending on that, where the wingspan is. The height is 31 or 11 depending of the wings. So the weaponry though, it has a lot. It has uh, four times gimbal mount size 5 with four times size 4 which is empty right now because it's still in concept. It has two times size for another gimbal mount with two times size three something. It has two manned turrets with four times size two, one remote turret size two with two times size two, and it has four times a uh, hard point with uh, eight times size three to be discussed. So probably eight times size three missiles. So yeah, the Corsair. 55 meters this is some sort of exploration ship kind of and, um, the Carrick is 120 meters so this is pretty small but it has a cool design yep anything else Drake throws at us today I think uh, ladies and gentlemen this might be it. It's the caterpillar. No, the buccaneer. Of course, the buccaneer. Let's talk about it. The buccaneer. The Drake Buccaneer is a rough and tumble frontier fighter that can be easily maintained in the most primitive conditions. It is designed to maneuver and fight above its weight class and to complement the Cutlass Caterpillar system. The crew is one, it doesn't have any cargo. The length is 15, beam is 16, the height is 4.5. The weaponry, it has a one size 4 Revenant Gatling gun. 2 times size 3 Panther laser repeaters and 2 times size 1 yellow jackets. And then it has 4 times size 2 Rattler missiles. Okay. Pretty cool. And it does really punch above its weight class. Wow, that the weaponry is pretty pretty intense. I rent it? There you go, I want to test it out. To do some bounties with it. I don't think it's very expensive in game as well. So. Alright, so this, this was it. We have only a trailer to watch, so stick around to see the trailer. Take a look. Buccaneer in the Kraken. While we at Drake Interplanetary celebrate the brave men and women in the UEE Navy, I think we all know that while they're protecting our borders from van incursions, Drake is continuing to provide security at home with our affordable and reliable line of ships. Whether you need to haul cargo across the first or protect your homestead from outlaw packs, Drake's got your back.
Defense Con's a great opportunity to take a look at the real ships that are out there every day, defending your freedom and moving the gears of this empire. These are dangerous times indeed. That's why Drake Interplanetary builds ships that not only provide function and power at a price that we can all afford, but provide peace of mind for you, for your family. With all the attitude you expect from a cutlass, formidable suppression options offering a range of lethality, supercharged thrusters, plus an integrated quantum dampener and onboard containment system. Welcome to DefenseCon. While we at Drake Interplanetary celebrate the brave men and women in the UEE Navy, I think we all know that while they're protecting our borders from Van Duel incursions, Drake is continuing to provide security at home with our affordable and reliable line of ships. Whether you need to haul cargo across the first or protect your homestead from outlaw packs, Drake's got your back. We've all been there. Some ship pops up on your scanner and they don't look friendly. Sure, you could try to call local law or the Navy. But who are you kidding? You'll be blown up and picked clean long before they show up. Stock up on one of Drake's versatile combat-tested ships, and it'll be the outlaws that'll holler in full of Welcome to DefenseCon. While we at Drake Interplanetary celebrate the brave men and women in the UEE Navy, I think we all know that while they're protecting our borders from Van Duel incursions, Drake is continuing to provide security at home with our affordable and reliable line of ships. Whether you need to haul cargo across the first or protect your homestead from outlaw packs, Drake's got your back. Those were the trailers, and this is the end of all the manufacturers that were showcasing its ships and vehicles inside the Invictus launch week 2952. Tomorrow there's the final day, and then the salute to the Navy as an ending event. I'm looking forward to see that as well. So uh, tomorrow another video for the final day and then the event. Until then I um, bid you farewell and hope you like this, uh, this series. Um, for me it is uh, also very handy to get to know all the ships and a little bit more in depth. So uh, it's fun for me as well as I love this game to play in but also want to know almost everything there is. Thank you for watching and I will hope to see you soon.